How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Bob Mueller and the Russia investigation. It is officially, as of right now today, Friday, March 22nd, 2019, a wrap, over, kaput, done, out of here. The report has been given to the current Attorney General, William Barr. He has the ability to disclose the entire thing, pieces of it, or none of it at all. In a letter that he wrote to Congress, and I'll place that in the box below, William Barr said that he may be able to let Congress know what's going on as far as key points of the Mueller investigation as early as this weekend. We're talking like a few hours here. Who knows when the whole thing will come out, but the House already voted in March to let the entire report come out, and it was a bipartisan, unanimous decision. So I suspect that the report at what at some point is going to come out it's going to come out i mean there's no reason for that to come out because you've already seen people be indicted or put in jail as a result of the report this has been news for the past two years non-stop throughout trump's entire presidency there's no reason for the report to not go public all you got to do is just redact personal information like somebody's home address social security number or whatever. But beside that, go ahead and put it out there full in public. I want to be able to read that for free on an iPad, my cell phone, my desktop, all that. Because the biggest thing here is that this is taking a lot of taxpayer money. You're talking about an unlimited budget to go after guys for what? Oh, uh, Russia collusion, you know, any kind of ties between the Russian Federation and Donald Trump any kind of lying or whatever. I mean, you got guys locked up or indicted for telling little lies, old stuff from back in the day, like Paul Manafort, you get this man on tax evasion. And then the media and regular normies want to say, oh, he's locked up because he was doing Trump's bidding and it was illegal. This man got locked up for some things that happened years ago before Trump even got into the race before he was even considered to be the president, you know, there's a lot of guys like that. They locked up Papadopoulos for, I think, seven to 14 days in the prison, like in the federal penitentiary, if I'm not mistaken. If wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. But, I mean, just really ticky-tack, stupid stuff. The only reason why anybody got locked up or indicted is because they're trying to get them to snitch on Trump. The problem is that there's nothing to see here. I saw this coming probably about three weeks ago, maybe a little bit less than that. Well, really, I saw it coming for quite a while, but... When the House was talking about now we're trying to get Trump on obstruction of justice and abuse of power, I'm like, okay, they know the Russia thing is coming to an end. They know what's winding down. So what are we going to do now? Now we're going to say that Trump was involved with obstruction of justice and abuse of power because we don't have the Russia kerfuffle anymore. So now maybe, just maybe, the media is going to say, or they're going to stop saying this whole thing about Russia. Russia it is, Russia that. You know, Trump was involved with the Russians, Russian collusion, because I can almost guarantee you that when the full report comes out, there's not going to be anything in there about Trump and the Russians somehow in bed together. OK, so maybe just maybe this whole thing will come to an end and that narrative won't be the thing anymore. But then again, maybe it won't because it's been a narrative for so long. How are you just all of a sudden now going to just switch gears and be like, well, no, Russia thing never happened. No, nothing to see here move right along. So I look forward to seeing the full report come out really soon. I'm thinking within the next week or two, the whole thing should be out. I think we'll know some of the key things in the report like by Monday, in my opinion. I think once the Congress finds out, then we'll know. Even if Barr says, don't tell anybody, they're going to leak it. For 100% certain, they're going to leak it. And it won't really be anything else. As I close, I want to say this. This has been going on for way too long. You're talking about an endless budget, millions of taxpayer dollars, in my opinion, wasted to really push a politically driven narrative. All done by, you know, the, the left, the Democrats, specifically Hillary Clinton, uh, the the whole uh, the fake dossier thing by Christopher Steele and Fusion GPS. All this Russia stuff really just got to come to an end. And I think that this report will do that because it won't be anything else that we learn. There have been a lot of people that have been indicted, locked up. You got Russian people that have been charged, who, by the way, will never be locked up because 
anybody going to extradite their citizens to the United States. You know, like Russia's not going to say, hey, just take our people and lock them up in United States jail. That ain't going to happen. And it won't happen the other way around either. So nobody else is really going to get arrested. There's no smoking gun that links Trump to Russia. That was said earlier. I forget who that was, but they said that earlier. And that was the reason for trying to go after the obstruction of justice. But we're going to finally find out for sure once the report comes out. And what do you think is going to be in the report? Will it be a big time nothing burger? Which I thought was going to be the case from the very beginning. Will there be anything in there that's pretty telling about Trump? Because all you're really going to find out is if somebody or some people or a company organization or whatever was investigated to what extent they were investigated and why they did not get charged if they didn't get charged. So maybe they investigated Trump Jr., uh, Jared Kushner or somebody like that. Maybe Trump himself. Like, what are we really going to find here? That's what I want to know. I think I have an idea. It's going to be a nothing burger with a whole pound of invisible ketchup, no bun, no plate, no nothing. Just a straight pound of air. Okay. It, it might not even be that because really, if there was anything more than what we know right now, we know about it. People will be getting locked up. They would be under, you know, a, a, an indictment right now. We don't have anything like that. So that's pretty much all I got. Look forward to more information coming out really soon. I'll say probably by Sunday or Monday, we should know something more. And then since the house said, hey, Let's put the whole thing out there. I think it will be out there. It's ultimately up to the Attorney General, William Barr, to put any or all of the report out, but I think it'll do the right thing. But that's pretty much all I got, and whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.